Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to this joint uh, press takeout between Foreign Minister Qureshi and Foreign Minister Kofo. Uh, Pakistan and Denmark are long-standing friends. Our bilateral cooperation has expanded over the years. There are new areas of uh, common interest, including green growth and sustainable development. Uh, the two countries have also been in touch recently with regard to the situation in Afghanistan. As you're aware, the two prime ministers spoke over telephone. The foreign ministers have been in touch, uh, have spoken three times, also were in touch in New York. And uh, I believe uh, this visit is an opportunity for the two countries to uh, have a wide exchange of views on bilateral issues and also the regional situation. And that's what the two delegations were uh, discussing in the uh, delegation level talks earlier uh, this morning. Uh, with these remarks, I would like to have the two ministers interact with you and would request the foreign minister to start. Thank you. Um, let me begin by welcoming me for Mr. Kofo uh, to Islamabad, to Pakistan, for his first ever visit to Pakistan. Uh, I'm happy to see him here because we've had uh, some useful conversations on the uh, situation, uh, the unfolding situation in Afghanistan. I've spoken to him over the telephone three times and we had a very good uh, discussion uh, in uh, New York. Uh, so today, uh, we uh, dwelled further on what we had discussed uh, in New York, and I shared with uh, him our assessment of the situation in Afghanistan, and I also shared with him uh, my interaction with Mr. Borel, the High Representative of uh, the European Union, on how uh, EU can engage with Afghanistan and how can we collectively agree on a way forward. We also uh, availed this opportunity to review our bilateral relations uh, and I'm happy to share with you that they are on an upward trajectory. Uh, there's a lot that can be done and we have discussed how uh, we should uh, put in that extra effort to uh, improve our uh, bilateral trade uh, and promote uh, and attract more investments into Pakistan. I, I shared with the foreign minister uh, and gave him our preference that these are the three areas where we feel that we can benefit from uh, Danish help, for example, renewable energy and uh, we have welcomed some of the uh, initiatives uh, announced. For example, the, uh, the Green Partnership Agreement signed between uh, Denmark and uh, Pakistan will give us uh, opportunities of greater cooperation in uh, uh, renewable energy. The fact that, uh, that both sides uh, have agreed towards uh, you know, uh, and uh, Denmark has uh, included Pakistan in the Danish uh, uh, transition, energy transition initiative. This will help us promote our capacity building within the Ministry of uh, Energy and how we can move ahead in this direction. We also discussed uh, the uh, advantages of enhanced parliamentary uh, interaction uh, and the need to promote it. Uh, I asked the foreign minister to uh, look at uh, the visa categorization that we have been uh, put into and have a fresh look at the travel advisory uh, that we have between our two countries. I thanked him for the support we have received on uh, GSP plus status from uh, Denmark and I'm looking forward to his uh, continued uh, support in the days ahead. 
I also shared with him the steps, the concrete steps Pakistan has taken uh, in uh, uh, FATF, uh, uh, which are concrete, comprehensive, verifiable, and how Denmark should play its role in helping Pakistan out of the grey list. Uh, so I will uh, conclude by thanking you once again for your visit uh, to Pakistan and hopefully collectively we will uh, work together to build a better bilateral relationship and to see uh, that our region is uh, peaceful and stable. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you so much uh, for Minister Qureshi for receiving me so uh, kindly here uh, in Islamabad. It's my first uh, visit as foreign minister and I believe almost uh, first visit in 10 years from a Danish foreign minister to, uh, to Pakistan. Uh, we had many uh, virtual conversations, uh, phone conversations, uh, three times uh, during uh, uh, August. And uh, I'm really pleased that we can meet face to face uh, and have, a, I think, a very productive, a very uh, comprehensive uh, discussion. Uh, we had a good and open discussion, um, and it was something that I really appreciate. We do not necessarily agree on everything, but we have many shared interests that we also um, had time to, to discuss and, and, uh, and find solutions to. Listen, I once again want to uh, convey my deepest gratitude to Pakistan for assisting with the Danish evacuation effort with rapid, efficient, and also substantial support uh, also in the airport, of course, in Islamabad. Um, it was only hours after I spoke with, with Foreign Minister Qureshi, we were granted permission to use the airport facilities. Uh, thank you, Minister, for that. Um, this arrangement has been crucial in our evacuation and became a model for a number of, of countries to follow. We, uh, we also had opportunity yesterday to thank the staff in the airport uh, that assisted Danish authorities and staff there uh, during uh, the evacuation effort. We have evacuated more than 1,000 people out of Kabul, uh, our own, own nationals, uh, people who work for us, and vulnerable Afghans and their families. Um, we also uh, discussed, and I appreciate that, um, the situation in Afghanistan in detail. We are, of course, uh, deeply worried that Afghanistan become a safe haven for terrorist groups. The people of Pakistan knows the, uh, the horrors of terrorism better than anyone else. Uh, a thousand in this country have, have died. Um, and Pakistan is a very important country in the region, so, so we had a frank and good discussion on how to, to deal with the new Taliban uh, regime, uh, how it can be, become the government in, in Afghanistan become more representative, inclusive, also respecting fundamental uh, human rights, including the rights of, for all, including women and minorities, uh, and also ensuring uh, girls can go to school again. Things like that was very uh, important. Listen, we have a strong and long bilateral relationship, uh, Pakistan and Denmark. For the past 70 years, we had diplomatic ties. We now plan to strengthen them further in areas such as uh, climate change, energy, uh, green trans. Uh, a green transition, but also sustainable trade and, and commercial ties. There's a huge potential here. We have seen some growing trade relations, uh, and it's an upward curve, but we can do even more. Um, and I want to commend the uh, energy transformation and also the climate efforts that the Pakistani government is doing. I was very pleased to plant a tree with His Excellency uh, before our meeting started. On renewable energy, there is a lot to do. We can work together. And I have also decided that we want to boost our embassy here in Islamabad uh, so we can have even more manpower for this type of, of cooperation. Uh, I'm also uh, happy that we discussed this green framework uh, today that we can have uh, together. Um, uh, so listen, I want to say uh, I know how important Pakistan is um, to the stability and security uh, of the region. Uh, to the stability and security uh, in Afghanistan and um, that we need to work together because uh, despite the, the uh, situation in August in Afghanistan, we, we all have a keen interest in finding a way forward. We will not turn our back to the situation in Afghanistan. We will still stand up uh, to fight that Afghanistan 
again becomes an international safe haven for, for terrorist groups, uh, that the basic rights of the people that uh, lives in Afghanistan, the population is respected, and that we will create stability and security uh, in the whole region. So, so thank you so much for receiving me so kindly. Um, it's really um, good to be here in Pakistan.